Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play of Outer Wilds. Really, really enjoying this game. And today's gonna be my third stream, but it's also gonna go up on sorry. it's also gonna go up on YouTube. So if you uh, if you come from YouTube, you can um, check out the live stream if you want to see it recorded live. And if you come from Twitch, you can see backlog either as a Twitch VOD or as a, or on my YouTube channel. And we're back. I'm gonna really quickly save my preview because it's kind of distracting. And then I'm gonna go back to Brittle Hollow because that's where um, I wanted to go to the uh, Southern Observatory and I found a way in yesterday but I just kind of kept failing and getting in so it didn't really work out. I messed around a little bit with the shuttle. But now I think it's time to look at the, the observatory and see what we can find there. So I think it's time to break. I think it might have been a little late for breaking, but I'm above the planets I should have rushed up to. This is the Southern Observatory. Oh no. This is fine. Okay. So, where we actually want to go is to the shuttle bay. Ooh, is that the moon? Is that the super secret moon? No, that's the moon. That's where we came from. Very close, very close for comfort. Um, yeah, let's just find the shuttle bay. Shuttle isn't working for some reason, so basically, just so I think there's something else we have to do to get the shuttle working. Because it just uh, takes off and then it, the one thing doesn't work, the one setting doesn't work, and the other setting gets us back to Gorilla Hollow. Okay, so we're at the south pole, I need to get to Oh yeah, I remember. Uh, unfortunately, fortunately, when we when we land on the uh, no the, the the tractor beams don't really uh, connect. Unfortunately, so this should be the right way. So Southern Observatory. Okay, so I need to get the tractor beams working, and then I need to jump from one of the tractor beams to because here they're misaligned. Unfortunately, I kind of need to get onto one of those. I don't know which one is the correct one, or if they're both the same, but. can get it to another one. Okay, so that's how that works. So 
so we're already way further than yesterday. There's some more tractor beams that go to the observatory, which is, of course, under uh, under the pole. This worked out. It was way easier than I made it look yesterday. Well, it's not done yet. should do it and then we need to get onto the footpath so do I need to I just think I just need to fly over and that's very good these are burned out so I think we'll just fly over should be good to just walk out on that side that means oops there we go one step further the question is where does the footpath continue do i need to fly over or i'll see this looks kind of slippery i hope i don't fall off and go back to the black hole so there is a thing up there there's a tractor beam up there so no if we can use that in some way could also just go for it and jump over there i think i think that'll be fine yes looks like I'll smack into that a little bit mm, okay maybe we need to get up there so how do we do that? So the footpath ends here. So we kind of have to fly over there. And probably just uh, there's another footpath here. Where does that one end? Oh, surprise me. So I don't. I think I think that footpath is coming from somewhere else. I don't think we need to take it. Probably just find another way to get in here, maybe. But currently I think we need to get up there somehow. Looks like there's a staircase basically going up there. I don't know if I can fly that high with my jetpack, but we'll find out. There is a little safety ledge, but not much. I think chances are good that... Oh. There's something. Are those... Hmm. Okay, so maybe I need to get over there. Just wrap myself in here. Don't know if I can fly that high, but I can try. I can, and there's, it just looked like there was um, lights, uh, not lights. Why is my thing turning? Um, it just looked like there was a path there, but there wasn't. So we need to get over there. That's where we came from, but this ledge looks like it's I think I can make that. Yes, easily. No issue at all. No problem. Okay, so now we just need to take the tractor beam and we should be good. We should be at the observatory. Yes, and we are. Perfect. Like that. Can probably unjam the door. There we go. Could be so easy, but it's not gonna stay open. Next, next respawn is basically gonna be starting over from nothing. Okay, so try 
has the protection stone. It's pretty much the teleconference session we were already looking at. And now let's look at what they have here. Kaseva. Ponoi, Daz and I were lifting orbital probe and components into orbit for his for assembly and one somehow sank down beneath the current. Kasava convinced me not to try to recreate the phenomenon myself using other cannon parts, but we were very curious to how that happened. Oh, I already read that in Giant's Deep. Our gratitude for this interesting question. This is exciting. Spire reconstruction we reconstructed a model of Giant Steep here at River Hollow, Southern, Obs the Southern Observatory, and it reveals even the thing is uh, reveals how an object might sink below a current. Con I am unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? Uh, if you don't mind, the trek beneath the surface to the South Pole. I'd be delighted to see you. The trail. The trail that starts at Brittle Hollow's equator. Conoy, you should have seen it. Uh, we thought it was impossible for any cannon component to sink even partially be below the current, but ours sank straight to the core. Okay. That's stuff we already knew. Maybe we need the other projection stone to. What is this? Can I walk across that or am I? Okay. It's pretty sweet. Break it. What is it though? Oh, I have limited time, so I have to be really careful not to waste too much of it. Let's see what this is. Conoy. Kazava's reconstruction yard has been using the cyclones on Giant Steep to lift orbital probe cannon parts into orbit. But one component was pushed down past the current that usually prevents anything from sinking. Spire, Spire and I are crafting a model to determine why this happened. An update. It's now clear there are two different types of cyclone. Most cyclones on giant deeps rotate clockwise. Uh, these are the cyclones Kasava typically uses to send components into orbit. There, are all, there also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters and below the current. My gratitude, Spire. Conroy is showing me your handiwork and I'm intrigued by this secondary type of cyclone. But was it really necessary to build a model to tell me that? The model will be useful as we continue monitoring giant sleep. Also, uh, Spire, I also, also uh, very much wanted to make a model. It's cool. So now we know how to get below the waves. Just have to find the. Uh, just have to find the right kind of cyclone and we can even see giant steep from here which is just awesome look at that it's really nice okay oh okay so this is the uh this is the new um, thing that finds stuff <laughs> i don't know what have we learned thus far in our search for the eye of the universe? Suppose the eye doesn't wish to be found. Kasava, how can you su suggest that? Uh, Plume says that. Kasava, how can you suggest that? The eye signal called out to summon us uh, to the star system. I'm aware. I grew up hearing the eye's story, yet we are no closer to finding it than you were uh, when you first arrived here. Based on our knowledge of the quantum moon, we believe the eye is in orbit around uh, the star system sun. Uh, this would mean the eye is located within a finite, albeit enormous range. 
those of us uh, on the vessel originally followed the eye signal to the star system, but we were unable to warp to the eye itself. The locator we built on the Atl Atl Rock and the new, more sensitive locator we built here were both unable to detect any trace of the eye signal. The eye has stopped emitting its signal. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, so this will tell us where... Oops. So this should be the eye, but it doesn't find it. We can find anything else, like... We can add new, uh, new celestial bodies and find out where they are. But we can't find the eye. So the question is, what else did they do to find the eye? As soon as we activate the eye, it just doesn't work. Oh, it made that, that sound too when we uh, tried to find the eye on the other track. How should our methods change as we continue our search for the eye of the universe? We know that the eye looks uh, what the eye looks like thanks to the quantum moon. So what if we try to find the eye visually instead? Let's send out a probe. We'd need to build a probe launching mechanism to cover those long distances quickly. A cannon in orbit around the celestial body uh, would circumvent the need to escape gravity's pull. We have that. It's the that's the one on Giant Steep that's destroyed at the very beginning. Uh, Giant Steep would be such a good. It would be a good choice. It's furthest from the sun, so it would provide the best angles for launch, and it's moonless except for when the quantum moon is visible. Mello's idea is clever, but we have no idea where the eye is. In, rel uh, in relation to here, the probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. I believe I have a solution for that problem. Have you spoken to Rami and Pi about the technology they're developing? Oops, that's As we couldn't find the eye signal using two different devices put for the, uh, this exact uh, purpose, we should continue this search method. Yes, let's build a cannon and orbit around giant steep. Okay, so we know what they did. We found that cannon, it's destroyed. It's destroyed slightly at the very beginning when you um, when you spawn in. So I think I found everything that's to find here. I can drop this here. Fortunately, well, I don't think I need to go here anymore. Let's take a final check if I missed anything. No, I don't think so. I think I found everything. It's time to get to Giant's Deep, I guess. But we already were at Giant's Deep. And I've already looked at that. I've already been to Giant's Deep. And unfortunately... Are you the Quantum Moon? I think you're the Quantum Moon. 
That means I can't stop looking at you to find the ship. Oh, now it's gone. I'm done. Bad. Could try to land on the quantum moon too. Because you can see it on the map. Ship's pretty close. So, what do we do next? I guess we'll just look at the ship log and see what it says. Oh, the ship's on the other side. Especially, I want to do this before the ship gets thrown into the black hole and disappears forever, as it did last time, which wasn't really that good for me. Ooh. This, oh, that's scary. I think I passed it. Here. Wait, that's not what. Well, I wanted to go into orbit first um, before, before we get sucked into the black hole. And then basically. Oh boy. There's the sun. Let's go. Now I think we're too close to the. Now it's moving away, so I can just hold trajectory with the sun. I think we're good here. Not gonna crash into anything else, right? Up and I think I'll need. Oh, yeah, it's. You're dead, anyways. I need to read that one. <laughs> so I haven't realized the. Well, it's so, super low time. 